Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Incredibles. We hate the Incredibles. It's an awful movie. Don't have the entire movie memorized front to back. This video needs to get a million views before I die. Let's get into it. Dude, I've always wanted to be the Pixar eye. Yeah, same. Have you seen the one where it bleeds when it stomps on the eye and then all the other letters are like crying? It's such a funny video. Oh, that's such an old edit. Super ladies. They're always trying to tell you their secret identity. Best character already. Frozone's overrated. Okay, I love Frozone though. Oh, he's sweet, but like, he's very much a side character and they don't really flesh him out in either movie. I think he should get his own movie. It probably suck. I think they should make the ICU. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're already, they already tried to with Incredibles 2. And you're already going to give me Incredibles 2 trauma like five seconds into the movie. Oh, no, we don't talk about that movie yet. Let us know if you want us to watch. That. Sequel bait, sequel bait. Guns, guns, guns. Wow, guys, there's guns in a kid's movie. No, this is somewhere between 1950 and 1950. In a kid's movie? Outrage. Certainly, ma'am, but I suggest you stand clear. It could be trouble. I love this. The solution is not get a ladder. It's let's rip the tree out of the earth and just shake it with violent force. You know how roots work, right? They totally wouldn't be like a block away under the city or anything. Thank you, Mr. Incredible. Okay, and then he just replanted the tree. Yeah, the tree will <laughs> now die for all of eternity. It's just G-Mod levels of physics right now. Also, this movie kind of looks like G-Mod at times. It is like 20 years old. I don't know when this came out. The Incredibles was released on November 5th, 2004. 19-year-old Fortnite card. This movie can vote. Who are you supposed to be? Well, I'm an Incredible Boy. What? Dude, I still hear the edit in my head. I'm yeah, and then he like explodes and gets kicked out of the car. Literally, it's all just, I can't watch this movie the same because I saw that so many times when we were working on it. You can watch us reacting to me and Jude's YTP of this movie in this video. Well, that video of us re or reacting to that is old, wow. Yeah, it's a really old video. Hey, look. The amount of uncomfortable Twitter posts about this one. Sorry, X posts about this woman. Elastigirl? Yes. <laughs> A simple thank you will suffice. Thanks, but I don't need any help. Imagine if she's constantly using her superpowers to maintain her body shape. What if she just looks really normal? That would be sick. That's actually cool. Oh no. There's a lot you could do with that power. <laughs> I'd just have a massive tongue and just <laughs> freak people out. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's, it's Monsieur Bonvillage. I always thought he wasn't wearing pants when I was a kid. For some reason, this always reminded me of Jesus coming out of the tomb. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, Jesus came out of the tomb and coughed really hard and then said, Bon voyage. The superhero relocation program. Where are they now? They are living among us. Among us! Among us! They said among us in Incredibles. They really predicted the future. <laughs> I'm calling to celebrate a momentous occasion. I hate this shot because that doesn't look like a window. It looks like nothing is there. There's nothing supporting that corner of the window. So that corner of the house is just going to go. <laughs> also, this is the most out of focus, like background shot that is in this entire movie. It looks unfinished. Excuse me. Where were we? I'm on a fixed income. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just in my head. Don't tell me about their coverage. Tell me how you're keeping, keeping insurance insure care in, in the black. black. Every line. I know every line of this movie. I love him so much. Oh, he's great. Why is he next to a giant high voltage cylinder? Why have I never noticed that? His office is like half the size of everyone else's. So this would be two sides to one cubicle. And well, no, look at the one next to it. Maybe he just got shafted. Like he's just in a sucky cubicle. Yeah, he totally did. And he openly mocks me in front of the class. Bro looks like an emoji. <laughs> he really does. This is what Stewie grows up to be. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Stewie Griffin from Family Guy. I love Family Guy. Then how do you know it was him? I, I hit a camera. Sorry, it's just in my head. I'm running for president. Dude, I can't see the movie the same. You've ruined this movie. I know. Now you know what it's like to edit movies for a living, Jude. He moves right there. Right there. This reminds me of um, when people would see a bit rate drop and they're like, that's them morphing into a lizard. That's the lizard elite class. Oh, like that whole Justin Bieber thing that happened mm -hmm. when he like was data mosh and people were like, it's him morphing into the lizard from the alt state. <laughs> it's like, no, the bit rate tanked. What do you like? What, what are you talking about? I will data mosh this video right now and you can watch my arm go like this and it's going to look really weird. <laughs> Why can't I do the best that 
they can do. Right now, honey, the world just wants us to fit in. And to fit in, we just gotta be like everybody else. There's a baby in the back, and I never noticed that the freaking baby's just sitting there below his eyeline. Just Yeah, Jack, Jack, just chilling over there. Just a little skin-colored cylinder back there. Insert local interstate here for wherever you live. Yeah, this is me on the 401. This is me on the 69. <laughs> That's literally me and the Camaro. Just tried to sit in Summer's Fiesta, and I legitimately looked like Mr. Incredible trying to fit in that tiny thing. Dash got sent to the office again. Good. Good. No, Bob, that's bad. <laughs> what? Man's just dissociating hard. Honestly, like, if it was this mundane, if I was selling insurance for a living, <laughs> maybe. This movie is, like, kind of a master class in making something that is boring watchable. Yeah, well, it's it's boring to tell the story. Yeah, well, like, scenes like this could be super boring if it wasn't for it being The Incredibles. It's a bit slow, but it doesn't lose your attention. Like, it, it's such a well-paced movie. Right. First a car, now I gotta pay to fix a tape. The car? Damn. What happened to the car? <laughs> that face that he makes right there is my favorite reaction image ever. Their baby is so ugly. Yeah, it's a ball. Freaking Jack-Jack's just a ball. <laughs> They're all a little ugly, let's be real. My favorite line of the movie coming up. Honey? Kids, listen to your mother. She'd eat if we were having Tony Low. She'd eat if we were having Tony Low. <laughs> <laughs> that's such a good line. I laugh at it every time. It's a real, like, that's what a little brother would say. Like, genuinely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. When I was a kid, I had no idea what he was saying. I was like, she did if we were having Tony Loaf. I was like, what, is, what language is that? <laughs> like, I didn't register the English word. You sit down. I don't like freezing any frame of Elastigirl because it looks disgusting. Ugh, it's so nasty. The only normal one is Jack-Jack and he's not even toilet trained. <laughs> Lucky. What? <laughs> what does that mean? He's not even potty trained, Lucky. I wish I crapped my pants. Uh, it looks like that building's no longer built, so it's now just a ding. <laughs> Building's a ding now? Is that what you It's not built anymore, so they removed the build part of building, and it's just ding. I hate that so much. The bill is the important part, I guess. Not build. I couldn't just say ing, because that just... <laughs> okay, that is kind of funny, but still. You were this close to losing your... <laughs> oh, is he not actually dead? I love that he went through, like, 55 walls. Not really, like, four, but, you know... Oh, that was weird. The way that audio is mixed, I thought I was hearing that outside of my headphones. It's binaural audio. When I was like an actual child, it was so off to watch because of the amount of like depression in this movie. And I just wasn't used to that at the time. Honestly, I, I enjoy this movie more that I'm older. Cause as a kid, I was like, wow, that movie's really moody and not very lighthearted. It wasn't like Finding Nemo where you're like, there's, there's fish on the screen. There's fish everywhere. Like, you know, this is just like, Hey, he's in an insurance office and almost killed his boss and someone tried to commit suicide and he got sued. I was like, what? What? <laughs> it was like on Disney Channel. I was like, hey, can we change the channel? I don't really like this movie. And my parents were like, yeah, there's a lot of arguing in it. And it's like, I just didn't get it at the time, I guess, because I was like six. I think the weird part about the second movie is, is they made it more kid friendly and then they added cussing, so it just felt weird. They were like, yeah, this one's for the adults that originally watched it, and then it was more cartoony. Yeah, I have a lot of thoughts about the second movie, actually, so definitely let us know if you want us to watch it. Match, Mr. Incredible. <gasps> Man, that home button is like 50% of that tablet. I think it's trying to be a speaker, but like still, yeah. Hello? This is Mr. Incredible. I mean, that's the most pretentious thing ever to not just be like, hey, this is Bob. Secret identity. They know his name, though. They called him at his house. He's on an unsecured phone line. Why would these people be on an unsecured phone line? You gotta maintain the secret identity in case anyone's watching with their spy cameras. Spy. <laughs> The, the belly button here where it jiggled in the edit was disgusting. Ah! We did track it, but like not good enough. So the belly button would jiggle around in the bulge. It was like, <laughs> and the holes like, oh, and huge. That's amazing. I love that. I wish that could happen to me. I wish a giant robot would almost rip me in half. Honestly, yeah. Ren, that reminds me of uh, the Hot Wheels thing that had two loops and like occasionally the, the cars would smack into each oh, other. Oh yeah, yeah. And they'd just smack into each other and just explode. We may or may not have a product similar to this in a video that has already come out. Yeah! Let's go! 
Oh, I had the Hot Wheels track that jumps through the shark's mouth. I got it the day it came out. I remember being in the back of a Toyota Tundra and seeing that it was 104 degrees that day, by the way. It was a weird day. You good, Bren? Conies. Yeah. Why are they just dogs? Conies. Where's the chili? Right there in the cup. Where's the onions and the mustard and the cheese? Excellent question. Did you not get the cheese at least? I got the cheese. You can order Conies without like all the extra crap. Yeah. But I didn't. So. I specifically wanted the extra crap. Would you care for more mimosa? Mm, don't mind if I do. Thanks. You're welcome. I wonder if that's what my AI robot wife um, that you can purchase on a Facebook ad. I wonder if that's what it sounds like. I hope so. Good morning. I love you. Moi. 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 Would you like another mimosa? Sorry, daddy. daddy, daddy sorry, daddy, daddy, daddy. Sorry. Would you care for more mimosa? <laughs> I love the conference room that's literally there as a fake out. Like, you know, big conference room and then it's just fake. I, I mean, I'm sure it's used, but it's sick that it's right there. What are you doing? He's playing Assassin's Creed. This is an Abstergo mission from Assassin's Creed. God, I hate Abstergo missions. They're like, do you want to walk around with an iPad for an hour instead of being an assassin pirate? Him just absolutely chucking that coconut at that man's head is always so funny to me. Probably a blunt force trauma from how hard he threw it. This, this is terrifying. I'm not even that claustrophobic of a person. This was terrifying. Yeah. Just from every angle, these weird, gooey. Don't like it. I'm super claustrophobic. So this scene made me like wince. Yeah, they just got a like really creepy good thing on their hands if they executed it that well. But I was hoping that I could get you what to are the I love that lamp that's pointed at a 45 degree angle. Well, okay, let's see the, let's see the rest of the bed. Let's see the rest of the bed. Is there one on the other side? Is there one on the other side also pointed in? So it's reading lights for the cup. So reading light. I don't care. It looks bad. They almost show it right here, but they conveniently don't show it. So we can't have the symmetricalness. Unfortunate. We made it. India Golf Niner Niner is buddy spiked. Abort, abort. There are children abort. Wait, India Golf Niner is buddy spiked. Abort. What does that mean? India Golf Niner Niner is the call sign for the plane. Buddy spiked means it's being attacked by friendly missiles. How many of those plane videos have you watched? Too many. <laughs> <laughs> I got call sign. I didn't know the buddy spiked, though. It's friendly fire, basically. We have a confirmed hit. Target. What's the story? Not target. Where am I going to buy threshold home goods and good and gather food? Ugh! Yeah, the entire retail chain is just gone now. Dead. Ew, ew, ew. What do you mean ew? She just pancaked real quick. That is disgusting looking. Can you imagine just seeing that? I can't imagine it because this movie has already depicted it for me, so I don't need to use much mental power to imagine it. Okay, but like in real life, though. <laughs> <laughs> just a random guitar over this. <laughs> They would die. They would be dead and died and deaded. My butt after Taco Bell. Haha, <laughs> funny joke no one's ever thought of. No, that's your butt after cheese or bread or both. So Taco Bell. I mean, yeah, but not specifically. <laughs> it could be anything with bread and cheese in it, Jude. Yeah, that's a good example. Josiah, I swear to God. <laughs> I want to watch the rest of this movie. Nothing is happening. Um, This is my butt after I eat Taco Bell. I hate you so much. And also an entire bottle of laxatives. You're the only laxatives. You're the only taco I bell bong. These things. Yeah, okay. I, I love them, though. They're kind of great. I love them, but they are fake as frick. Yeah, they're weed whacker hover boats. What do you think? I thought they existed. What do you mean? Yeah, this is real life. You said that, Josiah. You know why drones have four propellers and why helicopters have one big propeller and then a balancing propeller on the back? Because you can't just have one spinny thing. I like to think inside the disc that they're sitting in, there's basically a gyro spinning the opposite direction as to counterbalance the propeller. Okay, that would be kind of cool though. That would 
theoretically work. Yeah, like like a, a, mo a motor with ball bearings and a gyro, it would work. It could conceivably work in a hypothetical scenario that isn't real. It also makes sense given how they balance. Because that only gives you like, that gives you three degrees of balancing, but you also, you don't have like the six degrees of balancing and counterweights and everything. Like they're still going to fall. They, they, they might be able to stay in the air like a little bit, but I don't think they'd be able to make all the maneuvers and like twists and turns and flips that they do. It would be very difficult to do so and not completely crash into the ground the millisecond you lean it forward. You can't hide from me. That was some video game dialogue. Yeah, that is the most NPC dialogue I've ever heard. Over here. I want to ask, if you had one of the Incredibles power sets, which one would you choose? Because I think I would choose Vi. I always thought Vi was the best. Force fields and invisibility. So, like, you're basically invincible. Sounds like a support character to me. But, like, you could be invisible and do sneaky stuff. Yeah, I'd find a way to still be the loudest guy on Earth for no reason. I just thought that was cool. The floorboards would creak under me and everyone would be like, oh yeah, there's somebody here. Well, then who would you pick, dude? Oh no. I'll have to, I'll tell you at the end of the video. Oh my God. It's the best part of the movie. Wait, where is, is my super super How are you doing, honey? Wow, City Skylines, when it first came out, I love it. Like when every building was the same. The visuals in this movie are so you get five times as many tiles in the sequel. Five times as many tiles! No, you don't. It's just big. It's big. It's big. It's massive. I'd be excited for it if I knew I could sink the time into it, but I know I'm not going to play it. When I have a sink that I have time. Oh my god, <laughs> Prince Caspian? Ew! Okay, see, that was cool. <laughs> Get it? Because he made it cold. Yeah, it's like snow. Clumps. I want to go to clumps. <laughs> I want to go to clumps so bad. You don't want to go to plaza? Yeah, it's plaza in clumps. Gotcha. Or is plaza a part of clumps? Uh, we'll never know. We'll have to find the building's original odor. The world may never know. I love that scene because it's just helplessly being launched across the road. Just smashes that building. Critical hit. They finally beat the boss. Yeah, that was like one of those quick time events. No capes. Then another really violent scene where someone gets sucked into a jet engine. I know. I hate that he, he literally like his flesh gets shredded. And then there's the Underminer who's so important. Behold the Underminer. Judging by the lines, this guy I think is literally just a joke that the writers made. I am always beneath you, but nothing is beneath me. Why did they make another movie? They didn't need to make another movie. What? Incredible CU. <laughs> yeah, the ICU. You guys want us to watch the second movie? Type second movie. Two RD movie. Seconded movie. If you're looking for more videos to watch right now, check out our good movies playlist. That playlist doesn't get enough love. I want to do Finding Dory so I can yell about an octopus driving a semi truck off a bridge. I'd hate that so much. And a beluga with telepathy. There's a lot going on there. And Gerald. Have a day.